Hey, is that folk music that you play there? What is that? How do you call that folk music? <laughs> I think it was Studs Terkel who asked Big Bill Brunzi, did he consider his blues music to be folk music? And Big Bill says, well, I never heard, heard no horse. <laughs> And the shot rang up. Bang! Hot dog! Hot dog! Don't hesitate! It could be your ticket to a new tomorrow! <laughs> I ain't got enough money, enough time, enough love, enough energy to live out my dreams. When that's how I'm thinking, it could drive me to drinking. But I'm just not a drinker, it seems. Enough is a thought I create in my mind about just what will satisfy but satisfaction's a feeling that can seem to elude we each know our own reasons why but there's plenty for us all I can hear the future call plenty to share plenty to keep when we could heal a fear so deep we've clung to our belief that there's not enough and it's made living so rough just to let it go could that be so tough I've seen all the research the conclusion is clear, there's plenty to go around. For all living beings in our Earth family, the answers are there to be found. An end to oppression and all poverty, pollution, a thing of the past. Our planet restored to its natural glory And we'll find a peace that will last Cause there's plenty for us all I can hear the future call Plenty to share, plenty to keep when we could heal a fear so deep we've clung to our belief that there's not enough and it's made living so rough just to let it go could that be so tough like it's true and our actions will have their effect when we believe there's not enough we hoard and compete persecution and wars can seem correct but when we believe it's a bountiful world cooperation and sharing seem fine we can see all the answers to our world's tragedies and Lord it feels good in your mind yes when we believe it's a bountiful world it's a thought that can take us quite far when I believe there's enough 
I can unload my stuff Hitch my dreams to a star Cause there's plenty for us all I can hear the future call Plenty to share, plenty to keep When we could heal a fear so deep We've clung to our belief that there's not enough And it's made living so rough Just to let it go could that be so tough? Well, howdy, folks, and welcome to Horse and Sing None of It. That was my song, Plenty for Us All, dedicated to the World Game Institute in Philadelphia. And I'd like to introduce our guests for the day. They are the Marys. Come on the set, folks. This is Don Brody. How you doing, Don? Nice to have you on the show. And Ann Walsh. Hello. Nice to have you. Thank nice you. to be here. Now, the big question. Uh-oh. I, I know what this question is going to be. <laughs> How does two people named Don and Ann come up with a group name, the Marys? Well, it used to be the Bettys. And, uh, <laughs> it's true. We, we ran into a lot of trouble with that. There's actually there's a, a, a woman's group called Betty that uh, there, were, there seemed to be some mix-up in bookings and someone at this club at, at CBGB suggested we should change our name. <laughs> and. Uh, so we changed it to the Marys. I had a dog named Mary at the time. I had actually a boyfriend who had a dog named Mary at the time. <laughs> Both of them are gone now, so. <laughs> yeah. um, so this but it was Don's idea for it to be a woman's name. Uh -huh. And uh, we use it as a last name when we're, you know, for showbiz reasons. It's Don Mary and Ann Mary, the Marys. Like the Ramones are. Uh -huh. We sound, actually, you'll, you'll think that we get that sort of folk Ramones thing <laughs> that's so popular with the kids now. <laughs> so are you guys married? No. No. Just professionally married. Professionally married. Oh, I like that. I like that. <laughs> I want a divorce. I want a divorce. I want a professional <laughs> divorce. Then. So was this like a, a spur of the moment thing? You were at CBGB's and they said, you know, we no, think you should. No, no. <laughs> Actually, Don, oh, was, Don, Don was at a, um, a nightclub one night and uh, I had came in and Don said, Ann, I've got a great idea. We should call what we're doing. We'll call the group. Uh, the Bettys, and I, I went, ha, 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 because my mother's name is Betty, and I thought, oh, this would be that's great. great. You know, that's and I like it's a woman's name, everything. So then um, that Don called me about um, two months later and said, Louise won't book us at the... <laughs> they won't book us until we change our name. <laughs> so we tried out a couple of other different names, and we decided that the Marys had a, a nice... That was uh, the cleanest one that we came up with, so that was, that, that's the one that stuck. Uh -huh. All right. Well, sing us a song. You want to tell us about it, or just sing it? Uh, I think we'll we'll sing it and then we'll tell you about it. All right. What are we gonna do? Um, let's do Stranger here. Okay. We should talk about this first. Actually. Talk about it first. Yeah. Let's a second. <laughs> then let's talk and then we'll sing. Okay. Uh, this song it can be found on uh, a compilation that just came out of Hoboken called The Velvet Circus, mm -hmm. and it's um, prefaced by being called Women Driven Music out of Hoboken. However, I get to. It's cool because you drove here. <laughs> <laughs> I usually drive. Uh, and uh, this is a song that we uh, have submitted and is on our compilation, The Velvet Circus. So it's called Stranger Here. All right. Put yourself in my old shoes. Do they fit you just like new? You are someone I relate to. I get those funny feelings too Lose my place And maybe I'll lose my mind I'm a stranger here myself Won't you be my friend, she said I'm a stranger here myself Ask me anything you want to There's no secrets in this town And there's a river running by us Where we'll watch our troubles drown Slip your soul in mine Where it's warm inside I'm a stranger here myself Won't you be my she said, I'm a stranger here myself. You come 
asking me directions, but I still can't read your signs. Won't you help me find a reason to call these the best of times? Don't be shy about it, like I am with you. I'm a stranger here myself. Won't you be my friend? She said, I'm a stranger here myself. I'm a stranger here myself. Won't you be my friend? She said, I'm a stranger. Oh, you folks really know how to put on a harmony. Well, it's, it's something that came together when the first, very first time that we ever sang together, it just sort of got together. Anne was looking to sing with some people, and I said, well, let's, let's, let's get together and try it. And I just thought it blended so satisfyingly to, to yeah, me. Yeah, we keep it yeah. really simple, uh, just the two of us usually. Um, we have played with other people. Uh, in fact, that song was written with Mark Sidgwick, mm -hmm. who uh, played with us uh, for about a year and a half. And, uh, uh, probably we'll play. With probably us play with us again. We uh, there's been as many as six Marys up on stage sometimes. <laughs> it it's, uh, gets a little out of hand, but uh, often it's just the two of us, uh, and we like it all all the different ways. Uh, it's it's each facet has its own uh, plus and minus. I think pros and cons. Sure enough. Well, the two voices sound beautiful. Yeah, well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Much. Great. More m music? Why not? Oh, let's. <laughs> We're gonna do a new song. It's new new tune. I use, uh, I'm from Ohio originally, and I use uh, a lot of people or feelings that I had. Uh, uh, I'm still never totally clear of Ohio in uh, <laughs> uh, my mind. And uh, this is a, a mixture of people I've known from New Jersey and New York and Ohio, but uh, it's called Back This Way. All right, take it away. Pictures. Drinking and smoking each night on the square. An urge is an urge, now they said to Tom. He put his foot to the floor of his old Corvair. Neither of them quite heroes, and neither of them quite cowards. Toss that cigarette out the window at 70 miles an hour.
Ooh, that was kind of scary. Like that was pretty new. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> a little shaky coming in there. Well, we should give the information how folks can get in touch with you. Sure. So uh, they'll show it on the screen, and you can say it, and uh, then people will know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you may reach our guests, our the guests, Marys. The Marys. At 201-795-0554. The machine is always on. It's nuclear-powered. <laughs> it never stops. <laughs> We've we got do have solar a, cell backup. It's always on. We have a new, uh, well, not a new tape. It came out last year. Your friends, the Marys. Sure, that's available. Uh, they Great. can uh, they can call us and uh, be happy to send our tape. Uh, the Velvet Circus is available. Uh, right. We're, we're going to be on a new compilation coming out of uh, Hackettstown. I don't know the name of it yet, but uh, the sound effects people there uh -huh. are doing a new uh, compilation we're yep. going to be on. And uh, we're starting to record uh, new tunes any moment now. So stay Any second. Any <laughs> second now. The minute we leave tonight, we're going <laughs> straight, straight into the studio. Okay, we're going to take a little break here for a public service announcement. We'll be right back with the Marys. Hey, 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 howdy. You can win this swell set of recordings by artists who have appeared on Horses Sing None of It simply by sending your name, address, and telephone number to me, Ralph Litwin. Horses Sing None of It, 140 Morris Street in Morristown, New Jersey, 07960. You can win recording by Liza D. Savino, Dennis Dougherty, Margo Hennebach, Juggernaut String Band, Dave Kleiner, Ansel Matthews, Kathy Moser, Patrick Regan, Elaine Silver, New Jersey Songwriter Circle, and these two albums by me, Ralph Litwin. To win, send your name, address, and telephone number to Ralph Litwin, Horses Sing None of It. 140 Morris Street, Morristown, New Jersey, 07960. Wow, here we are again on Horses <laughs> Sing None of It. My name's Ralph Litwin, I'm your host, and we're here with Don Brody and Ann Walsh, the Marys, and uh, we've been talking and singing and having a good time. So where do these songs come from? That uh, Are you you the writer? Or do you co-write well, on them? Or? I inspired Don to write, but yeah, I have I, to admit I never, <laughs> never wrote until I met Ann. No, I, I, I was in a lot of bands where I was the primary, but not necessarily the exclusive writer. But uh, uh, Ann and I work on the arrangements together some, and uh, mm -hmm. often I'll say, like, why don't you try this? And she'll say, I'll come back with, she frequently does her own uh, vocal arrangements. and uh, But she's big in uh, encouraging me to like this go this way, don't go that Lately, way. Lately I've been a, very much more vocal about um, the songs he's been writing. Because, mm -hmm. uh, hey, Don it, and I both have a, a little bit of a different world now, because Don is a parent and uh, he's a, a house husband. And he's married and, his, and I'm single and carefree. Carefree, <laughs> in trouble with the law. <laughs> so um, I, he had, there's one song that we've uh, been kind of working on. Um, What's the one uh, about the daycare center? Oh, 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 the uh, um, this, a tune that I had written inspired by a lot of the news where people were getting uh, disappearing and uh, getting uh, kidnapped Car and oh, carjacking yeah. and all that. Oh. And uh, so we've been working on that's That's my personal take. And sometimes it's hard for uh, Anne will say, oh, let, let's try this instead. So we, we do collaborate yeah. mm -hmm. a, to a certain extent. But basically, I come in with the, the music and the lyrics. Yeah. And uh, uh, we try and make it a Mary's thing by working on it together. So. Sounds good. Well, let's hear one. This is one Anne wrote. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is a song we put out as a single a couple of years ago and has uh, still getting airplay locally, I'm pleased to say. And it's also on our album, Your Friends the Marys. Uh, it's called The Day Roy Orbison Died. <laughs> And left for we been the prize. Ooh, that doesn't matter to me. That's 
just a bad memory. Oh, oh, the day that you picked to leave was the day. Yeah. Roy Orbison died. I don't think some things you ever get used to. I don't think some things you're really supposed to. I see your face every time that I turn out the lights. But the song that was playing the first time I kissed you is the song that is playing to night when I miss you. I don't think some things are ever supposed to seem right. Just a bad memory. Whoa, whoa, the day that you picked to leave was the day yeah. Roy Orbison died. My sister only had three forty-five records, and she used to play them over and over until she had every note, every word. And every time I hear only the lonely And every time I hear a oh, pretty woman or crying and I feel like he's still alive Just a bad memory. Whoa, whoa, the day that you picked to leave was the day yeah. Roy Orbison died. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Well, when I heard this on uh, WFDU, I heard you guys do it a long time ago. Oh, yeah, 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 it's been right. I wondered to myself, and now I get to actually ask you in person, is, it, is there an autobiographical component oh, to this Oh, yeah, to, to a great extent. Uh, actually, I haven't told this story in a long time, that uh, I had always listened to Roy Orbison. I always heard him as like a big, they used to play him a lot in like my, one of my grade school. That was like a big thing that mm -hmm. they played a lot at the noon time and stuff. And I always had that in my background. And then I saw him maybe six months before he died at the Beacon Theater. And people were like jumping out of the balcony. He was just like making people weep, you know, standing ovations in the middle of tunes. And the guy just kept getting better and better and better. Even the more older he got, the purer and clearer and uh, singing. And somebody called me up and said, oh, I guess you hadn't heard. Roy Orbison died yesterday. And I remember thinking, man, if I can't write a song about that, about the way that just hit me. It's just one of those things I always thought would be around. And, you know, so many big people pass or whatever. And then it, I realized that that's sort of just the soundtrack to your life, you know? And that's mm -hmm. still there. But uh, so that was autobiographically inspired, and various pieces of it uh, relate to my life. But there's a certain amount of uh, fictionalized. Is that cool. much more of an answer than you wanted, Ralph? <laughs> <laughs> no, that was great. I was glad to hear it. Now, there's this really technical TV thing that we do about this point in the show. Hey, Rich, how much time do we have? <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering how that happened. <laughs> Three minutes. Well, we got, we got time for our uh, cool, last jam. tune. And uh, as we get to the end of the tune, they'll roll the credits over us. So. Okay. Uh, we'd like to thank everybody who's watching for tuning in today. I'd like to thank the Marys for coming here and being the guests. Thank you. Very pleasure. entertaining. Thank you very much. Got our own personal concert here in the studio. <laughs> we enjoyed it. This is a song from uh, your friends, the Marys, called Why. Good luck. <laughs> This has been driving me crazy How did I get in this mess? Did you forget about both of Forget about both of us? How can you tell me that you love me? And then 
you disappear You pour your heart out to me And then you don't come near It has crossed my mind How could you do this? How could you do this to me? Why? I don't know why You know I've been considering, well I better get out of this There's so much left to hope for, and there's so much of love I don't want to miss It has occurred to me now that maybe you've changed your mind Are you gonna find someone else who's gonna fill up your time? It has crossed my mind how could you do this? How could you do this to me? Why? I don't know why. Why? I don't know why. It has crossed my mind. How could you do this? How could you? This has been driving me crazy How did I get in this mess? Did you forget about both of us? Forget about both of us